Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sitch the FPS here, and today we're taking a look at how you get the new exotic scout rifle, Wicked Implement. This is a weapon that we've known about for some time now due to data mining. So the intrinsic trait for Wicked Implement is creeping attrition. Now that states rapidly landing precision hits causes targets to become slowed. And the exotic trait is tithing harvest, which says precision final blows while creeping attrition is active, creates a stasis shard that returns to you. Collecting stasis shards refills the magazine. Now let's go over how you get this weapon for yourself. But before we do that, I'd like to ask you to please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you like content like this. I just recently reached 100 subscribers and now I'm on the road to 1000. Now back to the video. You need the three blades of strife in order to launch the whetstone encounter within the deep dive activity. Now you get the three blades by turning in the exotic fish that you get from the three fishing locations. So that would be Sabathun's Throne World, Nessus, and the EDZ. Each time you turn in one of those fish from those locations, you get a broken blade of strife. Now, in order to actually start the whetstone activity within deep dives, you need to turn in your three blades to each of the three statues located throughout the activity. I'll show you each location now, so just follow the paths I take. The first statue is before the first encounter, the second is just after the first encounter, and the third is on the way to the second encounter. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know the statue locations, and I'll be back once we've deposited all three blades. Let's head down and dodge some of this heat. The whetstone awaits. Bring your... Get that patched up before it gets ugly. Yeah, thanks. Definitely didn't notice the stream of bubbles before you pointed it out. All right. I hear you not needing my help. But if you ask me, you're playing this like you have a death wish. Not for myself. Zivu wants to fight, wants us to prove we're worth fighting. I'm happy to oblige her all the way into the ground. Guardian Town. So after you've done the third statue, you need to finish the second encounter, and instead of exiting the way you normally do, you're going to go over here to the right. Now you need to interact with each of these three statues in order to lower the orange border once you enter the methane ocean. It would seem that all three people on your fire team need to interact with one of the statues. I guess it's kind of a safeguard against dragging people in here against their will, kind of like invoking the darkness. Now once you've crossed into the methane ocean, just follow the path you see us taking here. Now when you reach this boss, you'll see that you're hardly doing any damage to him. You need to get a buff in order to do damage. That buff is called Deadly Shark. You get it by defeating the three mini bosses that spawn in the area. Once you've defeated all three, you'll see text on the bottom left hand side of your screen that says, Sharp Like Death. At this point, you can take down that first chunk of his health. After that, you go to the right and you need to clear the rooms out. 
Once you go through that door, a 10 minute timer starts, and if you don't defeat the main boss before that's over, you'll be sent to orbit, and you have to start the whole encounter over again. Now in these rooms, you can lower the walls by shooting the nuggets. The first nugget is here in the middle of the room, and the second nugget is under the stairs. Then you go into the room where this first boss is and you proceed to kill the mini bosses so that you can get the buff to do damage. I believe there are two mini bosses trapped behind the doors on the left and right here. So you have to shoot this nugget in the room to gain access to them. Once defeated, make sure you clear out all of the ads and then you move forward to the main boss. The main boss is a tormentor and you'll need to get the same damage buff in order to take him down. He's a bit chunkier than the first boss. The mini bosses are kind of spread out all over this area, but once you get the boss down under about half health, the mini bosses actually start spawning in the middle of the arena. Now all you do is finish the boss off and you commune with the statue and get your weapon. If you want to complete the triumph for hitting all of the hidden objects, then just follow along at the end of the video. I've included every location. Anyways, that's it for me today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like and a subscription. It means a lot to me. Well, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Peace. A champion most deserving of this audience. I anoint thee a wicked thorn. Rise from the deep, bloodied warrior, and wield it without mercy. Guardian? Guardian? There you are. Tactical, I've got a lock on them. We're heading back. Requesting a transmat buoy to your position. Hold tight. Thank you.